We're here at the 15th Annual Capital Square Basketball Classic, and my guest today is none other than Mr. Governor himself, Glenn Youngkin. How you doing, Mr. Governor? I'm doing great. It's so great to be with you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for all you do for basketball in Virginia. Thank you. I appreciate it. And look, and knowing that you're one of the greats that came out of Virginia, I understand that you are a class of 1985 Norfolk Academy. I am. Class of 85 Norfolk Academy. And I'm not one of the greats. I'm just one of the guys that had a chance to play in college. There's been some amazing players. I have to say, high school basketball was amazing for me. I loved it. My teammates are still my friends today. I played on one of the great AU teams for Boo Williams back in those days. It was it was extraordinary. We had J.R. Reed and Alonzo Mourning. We had amazing teams. But I'll tell you, at the heart of it is being on a basketball team and having a chance to play with with uh, 14 other guys and to have a common mission to practice together, to play together, to win together, unfortunately lose every now and then together and figure out how to be a team. That's the best part about this game. And I love it. I love it. I got a fun fact for you, though. Did you realize that night last year, 2022, that your alma mater had a great year? And I'm going to tell you what that is. You're a class of 1985. The first thing that happened in 2022 was what? You got inaugurated in the office. So, in April of 2022, we had another alumni, David McCormick, who graduated at Kansas University, yeah. came from your alma mater. We did. Then, and thirdly, in June of 19, in June of last year, also we had Mark Williams got drafted by the Charlotte Hornets that came from your alma mater. So go Bulldogs. Yeah, it, was a, it was a great year for the Bulldogs. I think we were the only uh, high school in the nation to have two guys playing in the Final Four on opposite teams. Right. And uh, two great players. What's so much fun to watch is the great talent in Virginia. And uh, I show up at high school games around Virginia and I watch them because I'm just so impressed by the caliber of the players, the coaching, how guys in fact are focused on not just, not just delivering for themselves but for their team. And uh, we've got some of the best high school basketball in the nation. John Absolutely. Marshall High School is just extraordinary right here in Richmond. We got, of course, Paul the Six up in Northern Virginia. Yes. I saw a great team play this week, Catholic High School from yes. down at the beach. And there's just great high school in the state of Virginia right now. Yes, it is. And I tell you, you got also the 804 teams here. You got Verino, you got Highland yeah. Springs. We got a lot of great talent. And I'm glad you acknowledged that. So let me ask you this question. Can, if I give you, can you tell me who your top five players were? At your time? Uh, of, of, of all time for me? Yeah. Well, first of all, I got to start with MJ. I, I am a Michael Jordan fan. He changed the game. I then do put LeBron right there next to him because, I mean, come on, the king is the king. Uh, I loved I loved watching Jabbar play. I loved Larry Bird. He was amazing to watch. And I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb with Petersburg's own Moses Malone. That's right. VA, VA's in the house. Yeah, he was amazing. You know, you watch what Moses Malone did. He was the first guy, really, to go from high school right into the right into the NBA and change the game. Yes. And all of a sudden, Moses was in the house. And so, I had a chance last year to watch Petersburg High School play. They have they had a great team last year. They got a really good team again this year. Yes. I saw Verona play last year. They had a great team last year. They got another great team this year. I, I just I just love Virginia high school basketball. And thank you. We and, and that people know that we have some of the best talent here, seven five seven eight zero four. And I'm glad you acknowledged that. So thank you, and I appreciate you coming out here. And um, before I go, I want to just shout out Rick Stockel because Rick Stockel is one of the best guys, most genuine guys that we know. And he's coaching you today. He so is. He's a he is a great coach. You know, he's he's uh, on the staff at Monacan High School. That's right. And what's really kind of fun is. Had I stayed in Richmond growing up, because my dad lost his job, we had to move as a family, we moved back down to the beach, mm -hmm. I would have gone to Monacan High School had, I stayed, had I stayed in, in Richmond. That's right, we lived right down the street from it. And it's fun to have Rick coaching us because we have that connection. That's right, I'm so glad. Wow, that is a fun fact, I did you not know. So, yeah. wow, well I tell you, Mr. Governor, I don't want to take up any more of your yeah, time. You guys I just are great. appreciate you, thank you so much. And would you mind putting a plug in for yeah, Ball in let's, VA? let's keep balling in VA. I'm gonna tell you, this is a great, great podcast. Every Everybody should listen because you, you can keep up with what's happening in basketball across Virginia, balling in VA. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank Bless you so much. All right. Take care, everybody.